Next, let us discuss profit margin. Gross profit margin is equal to gross profit by sales in 200. If nothing is mentioned, gross profit margin is usually computed on sales. So profit so much divided by sales into 100 gives us what is called the gross profit margin. Sometimes we might, we might want to know the gross profit on the cost of goods sold. In that case, gross profit by cost of goods into 100 is the gross profit on cost of goods sold. There is of course a relation between the two. If one is given, the other can easily be computed since gross profit is nothing but sales minus cost of goods sold. So sales is cost of goods minus GP and cost of goods sold is nothing but sales minus GP. No, there is a mistake. Sales is equal to cost of goods plus GP. So sales is equal to cost of goods plus GP and cost of goods sold is equal to sales minus GP. <clears throat> Let us consider this with a few examples. If gross profit is 20% on sales, sales is 1 lakh, what is the cost of goods sold? When they say 20% on sales, if it's on sales, then sales is 100. If they say 20% on cost of goods sold, then let cost of goods sold be 100. Then it is very easy to find out the relationship. This is 20% on sales means sales is equal to 100. What is gross profit therefore? It is 20. It is 20% means 20 rupees per 100. So when sales is 100, gross profit will be 20. If that is the case, then cost will be equal to 80. Now we have the relation between everything. That is, gross profit by sales is 20 by 100. GP by sales is nothing but 20 by 100 or I could just simply say 1 by 5. If I want to know the relation between gross profit and cost of goods sold, that would be equal to gross profit is 20, cost is 80, therefore that is one fourth. If I want to know the relation between cost of goods sold and sales, that would be cost by sales, that is nothing but 80 by 100, that is 80% or 4 by now what is the question? GP is 20% on sales. If sales is 1 lakh, what is cost of goods sold? If sales is 1 lakh, so what do we have here? The relation between cost and sales is 4 by 5. What is cost of goods sold? Here I have the relation. Sales is what is given to us. What is the relation of cost and sales? I've got 4 fifth. So if Cost by sales is 4 fifth. When sales is 1 lakh, what is my cost equal to? 4 fifth of 1 lakh, which is nothing but 80,000. If we want to compute in another way, what is sales? 1 lakh. What is profit? 20% of 1 lakh, 20,000. Therefore, what is cost? 80,000. So, whichever way we do, this is cost of goods. Remember, if one is given, it is always easy to find the other. <clears throat> if GP is 20% on cost of goods sold, sales is 1 lakh 20, what is <clears throat> cost of goods sold? Now, here the GP is on 20% on cost of goods sold. So, cost of goods sold is 100, <clears throat> therefore profit is 20, therefore what is sales? Sales becomes 120, sales is cost plus profit. Again, we have a relation between any three, profit by cost of goods sold, profit by sales, cost by sales, etc. What is given to us? 
sales is given to us, we have to find out cost of goods sold. What do we need to find? Numerator. What we have is sales. So this is the relation. What is cost? 100. What is sales? 120. Or if I just break it up, it becomes 5 by 6. This is what? Cost by sales into the sales. Therefore, when sales is 6, cost is 5. Therefore, when sales is 1 lakh 20, the cost will be equal to 1 lakh. Cost will be equal to 1 lakh. <coughs> If you want to do it by adding profit, that also can be done. 20% on cost of goods sold. What is the relation of profit and sales? 20 by 120 or 1 by 6. Profit by sales. So, 1 sixth of sales is the profit. Profit is equal to 1 sixth of sales. That is 20,000. How much is sales? 1 lakh 20,000. Profit? 20,000. Therefore, cost 1 lakh. Gross profit is 25% on sales. Cost of goods sold is 1 lakh 20. What is sales? GP is 25% on sales. So, sales is 100. Profit is 25. If that is the case, cost must be equal to 75. Cost of goods is what is given to us. Therefore, we have to find out what is sales. We need to find out what is sale. What is needed, we put on top. What we have, we put, put below. S by C into cost of goods sold into 1,20,000 will give us the sales figure. So, sales is how much? 100 by 75. This is the relation into 1,20,000 will give us the amount of sales. How much is this? 1,60,000. Sorry. 1,60,000 is the sales. Or again, from this, if we want to take out the profit separately, <clears throat> what is the relation? What is given to us? Cost of goods sold. So, what is the relation of profit and cost? 25 by 75 or one third of cost is the profit. Is the profit. 1,20,000 into one third. 40,000 is the amount of profit. So what is sales is equal to 1,20,000 plus profit 40,000 that is equal to 1,60,000. Gross profit is 40% on cost of goods sold. Sales is 1,40,000. What is cost of goods sold? So what is profit is 40% on cost of goods sold. Cost is 100. 40% on cost of goods sold. Therefore, cost is 100. Cost of goods sold, 100. Profit, 40. Therefore, sales must be equal to 140. We need to find out cost of goods sold. So, what is cost of goods sold? Cost by sales. This is what we need to find. This is what we have. Therefore, cost will be equal to, cost is equal to, 100 by 140 caused by sales into 140. What does this mean? This means that when sales is 140, cost is 100. Therefore, when sales is 140, cost is equal to 1 lakh. Opening stock 20,000, closing stock 30,000, purchase less returns is 1,10,000, gross profit margin on sales, on sales is 20%, the sales of the company will be similar but only thing is here we need to find out what is the cost of goods sold. 
the gross profit margin on sales is given to us. What we have is cost of goods sold because we have opening stock plus closing stock plus uh, uh, purchase less return. So what is our cost? Cost of goods sold is equal to opening stock plus purchase minus closing stock that is equal to 20,000 plus 110,000 minus 30,000 equal to 1 lakh. This is our cost of goods sold. What is our relation? If sales is 100, profit is 20, therefore cost is equal to 80. Cost is given to us as 1 lakh. <coughs> we need to find out what is the sales. So 100 by 80 into 1 lakh. equal to 1 lakh 25,000. So your correct answer should be C, 1 lakh 25,000. So here we have to compute the cost of goods sold and then apply the formula to arrive at the sales figure. <clears throat> if sales is 20,000 and the rate of gross profit on cost of goods sold is 25%, then the cost of goods sold will be A, 20,000, B, 15,000, C, 16,000 and D, none of the above. I'll give you a little time to just work it out. Let cost be 100 since profit on cost of goods is 25%. If cost is 100, profit must be 25, therefore sales must be 125. We need to find out the cost of goods sold. When sales is given to us, therefore let us say what is cost? 100 by 125 into 20,000 should be the amount of cost of goods sold. Should be equal to 16,000. Correct answer should be C, 16,000, 16,000. Calculate the value of closing stock from the following. Opening stock is 60,000, purchases is 90,000, Sales is 1,20,000. Gross profit on cost is 33,1%. Due to fire, stock costing 15,000 is destroyed. Insurance claim was accepted for 5,000. What do we have to do? Calculate the value of closing stock. A, 40,000. B, 45,000. C, 55,000. And D, 60,000. <clears throat> Here, since gross profit on cost is given to us, let cost be equal to 100. We don't have the cost figures. For cost figures, we need opening stock, we need purchases, we also need closing stock, which we don't have. So, if cost is 100, then your profit will be 33 one third and sales will be 133 one third. When we do this, the relation if you want Profit to sales is actually profit by sales relation is 33 one third by 133 one third which is nothing but 1 by 4. Whenever we get 33 one third percent it is nothing but one third. 33 1 by 3 divided by 100 is 1 by 3. It is better not to do decimal calculations. We would get st stuck with points. We just take it as one third or one fourth. If it's 33 one third by 133 one third, that is nothing but 1 by 4 equal to nothing but 1 by 4. 
So if sales is given to us as 1,20,000, then the profit must be one-fourth of 1,20,000. So what would be our closing stock? You want any two ways of doing it. We could prepare a trading account, T format, or use the equation. Same thing, to opening stock, 60,000. To purchases, 90,000. To gross profit would be what? It is 1 by 4 of sales, profit by sales, 1 by 4 of sales, that is 30,000. By sales, 1,20,000. And the balancing figure should give us closing stock. Closing stock. Let us just solve this. This would give us 1,80,000. Therefore, closing stock should be 60,000. 60,000. Correct answer should be D, 60,000.